hello viewers welcome back to multi magics channel i am actually excited to tell you that we are going to launch a new series on full stack development and mobile hybrid app development okay basically while doing our products we used to get some requirements right so kind of we used to we want to implement a payment gateway or we want to implement a qr code scanner or we want to implement a qr code generator okay so we were actually building our building blocks okay so what we thought is why don't we take a video on that uh, on the setup process and the little bit of explanation in functionality and it also help others right we are going to post our all our building blocks in this repository so that way i'll also keep the links in the description so that way you can download the source code and you can use that in your own own projects what we'll look into is we'll start with react node express and mongo okay so basically this is a boilerplate which establishes the communication between the kind of a hello world which establishes the communication between the react node and express and mongo okay so in the sense we are going to send a text from react means my our client and it will go to the our respective apis and it will store in the database mongodb okay clean so let us see the functionality ones so this is the to do app which uh, which we built okay so let me start with hello world okay and if i add it see it got displayed beautifully here okay now let us go to the cloud and we'll see the result okay see we got the hello world okay so now if i want to edit that again hello world kind of okay and if i update it and if i go to the database and if i refresh it again you can see the updated value of this hello world got that okay in the same way you can delete the, the you can delete this to do value from the database database also okay yep see there's no data okay so basically what we have done is the create operation the update operation and the delete operation so we are performing the crud operations using react node and mongodb clean okay now what we have to do is initially you just have to go to this b blocks repository and you have to clone that and you have to go to the respective project now for now we are using react node express and mongo right so we'll go inside the project and you'll have two folders called as backend and client okay so this is the project structure okay now before setting every everything what you have to do is you have to set up the mongodb database first okay so for that what you need to do what you need to have is you need to have access to internet and you also need to have a google account okay next you need to follow this all process step by step that way you'll be able to create the mongodb uh, database and after that you'll also land into the page where i am right now okay and yes after setting up the mongodb database and you also clone the project right so this is how you will clone the project and you have to navigate to the to the react node express and mongo folder and then what you have to do is you have to go i mean you have to navigate to the client folder and you have to run npm install okay in the same way you have to run npm install for the backend that way it will install all the dependencies which are necessary for your client and the backend okay next in the backend folder we'll have an .env file where you have to keep your mongodb database connection string okay uh, and at the end don't forget to mention your database name clean okay now to start our application what we had to do is we had to go to the client and we had to run npm start and we had to go to the backend and we had to run npm start okay so yes this is how i was running these are client and this is our backend okay so i am running server first 
okay actually i did all the process and i kept my database connection string on all in this env file if you observe and so that way you can also keep your database strings and all in this env file okay so for the client also i am running the npm start so let us see see this is the same ui which i showed you previously in the demo process okay so now if i add again a hello world kind of zero and if i add that i mean if i create that what it will do is it will create a new value in the database okay the same it goes for update and it goes for delete okay now let us go to the functionality first okay so basically this is my client and this is my backend okay so what i have implemented in my client is we have to call the rest apis we implemented the rest api apis so that way from front end we'll call the apis and the api will do all the back end logic and the process okay so initially this is the main file which will run when you run a react project okay so in this file what you are doing is you are calling the app component i mean basically you are rendering the app component so let us go to the app component and in app component we have two components that is to do form and to do list i am not going in detailed basis so what i am trying to explain you is i am just explaining the flow okay so we have a to do form we have a to do list to do form is the place where i something what you have seen in the demo is there is a input value and there is a add button okay that that is inside this to do form to do list to do list is the one once we created a value then the list which is displayed at the bottom i mean you saw that right hello world edit and delete that is that goes under this to do list okay so let us go inside the to do form uh, i mean before going to that to do form itself uh, we have some functions like use effect is the function uh, which i mean which calls automatically when you load the component or if uh, if any change happens in the component okay so it it is kind of constructor whenever you call that this component then use effect will be called automatically okay inside that use effect we have fetch to this function which will get the data from this api that is our node server and it will set to do's value okay and the same thing if we do i mean we have another function that is called as hand, handle add to do so basically by that name we can say that it is going to add the to do option or the value which we are going to send okay what we'll do is we'll post a request to our node server okay and what it will do is it will set the to dos okay okay and next in handle delete to do the same way we'll post a delete request and uh, it will delete the to do in the database clean and in the same way we'll update the to dos so we have four apis uh, one is to uh, sorry we have three apis one is to create edit and delete and also we we have another api to fetch the data okay clean so let us go to the to do form so in to do form we have an input button and i mean input field and we have a, i mean we have a button to submit and once after you enter the text and if you click on this button this will it's a form right so it's a type of submit so the handle submit function will be called automatically so in the handle submit button what we are doing is we are calling a callback function which is coming as a prop for us okay so if we click on this on add what it will do is to do form in to do form we are getting a on add as a prop right so to do form basically we call that here so this is the callback function which we call so this function will be triggered and the this api will be called and data will be added to the database clean once the data is added this value gets updated right because uh, it will fetch the data 
because we got some update in the database so that's why we i mean in database we have added the new value so what our front end will do is will it will fetch the data and it will update the to do's value clean once we get the to do's value we'll go we'll display in this list let us go inside that list okay it's an array basically so what we'll do is we'll map it and uh, we'll display the to do's in this format okay here we, you can see that we have an update we have a delete i mean edit and we have a delete function okay so respective callback functions will be called like handle edit handle update and handle delete okay so those all functions are coming as a call i mean as a props for this to do function so these two functions which are coming as a prop and if we go to app.js and uh, yes on delete on update these are the functions these are the callback functions which we are calling inside the to do component clean so in delete handle delete to do we have a delete i mean we'll we'll send a delete request and in update to do we'll send a put request basically because we want to update it right so this is what about this is the basic flow what is happening in the client okay let's go to the back end first okay so in back end we have a package.json file and we have routes and we have models okay where we'll define a database schemas and all okay in routes we'll all the, we'll write all the routing logic okay if you observe this package.json file we have all these dependencies and if you run npm start what it will do is nodemon will run this server.js that way whenever you change the source code and it will restart the server by itself okay clean so let us go to the server.js so basically in server.js any routing which is coming like this like slash to do's those will be routed to to do routes okay so in to do routes we have router.get and router.post and router.put and router.db this as by name it suggests that we'll use this api to delete the data from the database and this to update the data from the database and this to post i mean if we want to add any new data in the database and this is to fetch the data okay for every database for any database you actually wanted to tell how or in which format your data should be like in the database should be designed kind of a schema okay that you can see here in the database models okay so basically we designed a schema where we are going to keep a title and another value another key pair value that is completed and a boolean okay so we defined our model and what we will do is we import our model okay now if you go to the roots i mean coming back to server.js as i told you it will route to the to do roots now if you observe this get request so basically we are finding that model and we are returning all our to do's clean so in the post request we are getting a new, new values like we are sending a value right like the text what we written in the demo like hello world that is coming in the request body okay so what we are doing is we are filling those details we are creating a new to do with this schema with this model and we are saving that in the database the same way we are i mean we'll get another modified data in the put request what we'll do is we'll find the respective to do with the help of id you can see this right find id find by id and update so there we are updating the data and next we are saving that again okay we are just updating the data okay and in delete api request what we are doing is we are finding the respective to do using the id so find by id and we'll delete that clean so yeah these are the apis which uh, we have implemented and hope you guys understood that how the client is communicating with the back end and how the back end is communicating with the database and also put the links in the description for this repo where you can follow all the process step by step you'll also do the same setup 
what I have done and you can also run the same example. Thank you. Okay then. See you soon. Bye bye.